Hey there guys, this is Kyle, and today we're taking a look at the Micro 3D Printer. It's a new 3D printer that's aimed at customizability, affordability, and usability for pretty much everyone. It's a really awesome 3D printer, and as far as pricing goes, it's only $350 right now, which is really, really insane for a 3D printer. Although it does say that the price is going up soon, so I would jump on it if you guys are interested at all. Now today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the box and the packaging, show you guys everything that's included and all of that stuff. Then do a little bit of a setup, uh, not necessarily a tutorial, but a little bit of a showing how setup is for it. And then do a quick first print to show you guys if I think that it's working properly, show you guys how it came out and make sure that I like it and that it's working. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Stick around. All right guys, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up here. I've got my knife here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start opening up. Um, as you guys can see from the box, it's pretty compact because this will have all my filaments and everything in it. At least from the videos that I've seen, it should have all of the printer, the power, all that stuff in it. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, from the very, very top, I see I've got a letter from uh, Micro3D. Uh, basically it's just an instruction booklet for the uh, first time user all that kind of stuff about downloading the files and all that for the printer. I'll set this aside and then I've got my order information now. Um, it's all here and it's actually pretty cool. They've got the signature of the person who uh, packaged this which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna set that aside now and uh, besides that I believe in the side here yep we're gonna go ahead and pull out and we've got our um, our 3D ink. So this first one is the white pearl and then right here we've got the onyx black one. Now I did purchase the two with it, although I did purchase additional filament from a third party source. Um, and I'll explain more about that later in a second. Uh, however, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the actual box here. Um, as you guys can see, this is something that people have said in the past. Let me just put this back over here. I just hit the camera. But as you guys can see that the box is open. Now that's, everyone has this issue. It's not something you know you should be concerned about. It's just how they always come. So if we go ahead and open this up here, um, you guys can see I did order, um, or I guess it's on the side here, somewhere, yeah, I ordered a black, black model. But um, if we go ahead and open it up here, you guys can see, first thing that's included is the power adapter, obviously this is going to power it, and then this is the USB cable, which is going to connect it to your computer for printing and all that stuff. Um, now this over here is the actual printer itself. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put this box over here and set this down. Now, obviously, it's packaged up pretty well because they don't want anything to happen during shipping. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just open up the packaging here. Get rid of this bubble wrap. Don't need that. Open this up here. Just cutting away, tearing away at it. Now, first impressions are it's actually a bit smaller than I thought it was. Um, it just seemed a bit bigger in the pictures. Um, although it's still a decent size for a 3D printer. Now they packaged this thing up really, really well, so I have to go ahead and tear away a few things and just toss them to the side here. Um, there's a few things you gotta peel off, obviously, um, which I'll do in a second. Uh, this is loading information here, um, how to, you know, do different stuff, whatever. And we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, one thing I wanna point out is they do have these, uh, let me take this, tape off first. Come on. Now, if I peel this off, you'll see they've got what's... Uh, there we go. Um, these right here are called gantry clips. Basically, they're just holding this... Pla oh, sorry. Um, they're just basically holding this this bars in place here. But what's really cool about these is they were actually printed on this particular printer. It's kind of like the quality test. But it's pretty cool that they can use it in packaging um, as well. I just kind of broke it there. That's okay. I won't ever ship it again, so I don't really need it. And same thing here. You're just supposed to push up on these, and they should slide right out, they say, supposedly. There we go. And then um, there, that's the printer. You guys can see the IO ports, really just USB and power back there. Um, the cable connector for the internal feeding. 
and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing plugged in. All right, guys. So I do have the uh, model I'm going to be printing today loaded on here. It's Pikachu. And you guys are able to edit um, some basic stuff regarding, you know, orientation, stuff like that. You can edit the uh, size of him. You can edit his location, all that fun stuff on here and center him back and reset your view. Once you're ready to go, you can go ahead and hit the big green print button. They give you the options like the print quality, the fill density, and other stuff. Then go ahead and hit print. And it'll give you the estimated print time as well as the estimated filament amount. And then you're going to hit start now. And uh, oh, oh, that's why. Okay. Now hit print. And uh, yeah, so hit start now and the printer will start warming up, turning on the fans and moving into position as you probably already heard mine is doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the time lapse of Pikachu being built. Alright guys, so here is our Pikachu. Um, as you guys can see, he is a little bit smaller than the palm of my hand here. Um, and uh, this is the final product. Now this uh, is pretty minimal cleanup. I didn't really clean up the, a whole lot. Um, I did basically, there's a little bit of string between the two ears here. Just ripped those off and there really was no additional sanding or anything. There's a bit of uh, stringing in along here. Just went ahead and pried it off with my fingers, but I didn't sand it or anything, which would have been hard because it's PLA anyway. Um, but this is, I mean, the product. Uh, it's supposed to be low poly, so don't worry that it looks kind of blocky. Um, that's kind of the design of it. But overall, it looks really, really good. Um, you guys can see the layers a little bit, um, which to me is really not a big deal. I didn't print at a great layer height anyway, so uh, no big deal there. But I really think that the print came out very, very nicely. So after almost two weeks of ownership, the question still remains. Would I recommend the Micro 3D printer to other people? The answer is yes. It's a great 3D printer, especially for the price. $350 is crazy, and even $450 is still not too bad for a 3D printer, especially with what you get for this one. Now, the product is really, really great. Um, and once you get used to it, it's not a problem at all and you can start printing like a pro. However, there is a little bit of a learning curve as there would be with any 3D printer, although I believe this one it might be a little bit bigger. You can't exactly use all the features that came with the device like you think you should be able to. There's a few tips and tricks you really need to learn before you're able to produce high quality prints successfully every single time. And because there's so many things and there's a few tweaks and stuff that you need to learn, I'll be detailing those in separate videos just because otherwise this one would be 20 minutes long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found it interesting. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment down below and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. But if you liked the video, please leave a like. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you're not a subscriber yet, definitely check me out because I am awesome. No, just kidding. Anyway, check out the Magna 3D printer. The link is in the description box below, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'm out.